Meta, the company that gave us React, React Native, GraphQL, PyTorch, Jest, Llama, and more, has released a new JavaScript library called StyleX. StyleX is Meta's alternative to Tailwind CSS. StyleX is a library for styling web applications that is already powering websites like Facebook, Instagram, Threads, and WhatsApp. StyleX is used for every major internal and external product at Meta. It was open sourced just a little while ago, but it has been used by Meta for three years. So it is very battle tested. Today, I want to show you how it works, what makes it special, and how it compares with Tailwind CSS. StyleX is a CSS in JS solution. CSS in JS is when we write the style of our application as a JavaScript object, like this. Here, we are writing the styles of a button as a JavaScript object, and we are then giving this object to the button element. This approach is simple. It takes no configuration and it works with React out of the box. No libraries needed. The problem is that this approach is very limited. We can't have multiple styles on the same element or have conditional styles, among other things. If we use a style X, our code would look like this. It is not very different from what we had before. We are still expressing the styles of the button as an object, but this time we are passing this object to the style X that create function call. And then in our button, we are using the style X props function to pass those styles. In the surface, it looks like style X is not doing anything new, but it is the details that matter. Using the style X props function, we can have a button that has multiple styles and even conditional styles. Pretty cool, but that is not all style X thus. StyleX is also a compiler. When you build your project, StyleX will take those styles that you defined as a JavaScript object, and it will turn them into atomic CSS classes. That means that StyleX will take this code and compile to this. Doing CSS in JS without StyleX means that we have to rely on JavaScript to apply styles, which might be slow. Using StyleX, since the styles are compiled and put on a separate CSS file, everything runs much faster and we don't need the JavaScript to apply the styles. StyleX can do more cool stuff, like media queries, for example, or pseudo classes. Another cool thing is that the CSS that you write when working with StyleX is type safe. StyleX has both flow and TypeScript definitions for for all CSS properties, which means that if you write something like this, TypeScript is going to show you an error because it is not a valid value and it will show you what your options are. If we compare StyleX to Tailwind, I guess it is a matter of taste on how it looks and what you like. Do you prefer writing your styles as JavaScript objects or are you okay with learning the Tailwind specific classes and ending up with long class names everywhere? One thing where I think that StyleX wins over Tailwind is that it is type safe. I love the idea of TypeScript telling me if I made a mistake on CSS. Tailwind does have some linters and extensions that sort of help, but nothing compares with having TypeScript helping you in that area as well. Meta says that StyleX works for projects of all sizes, but that it really shines in larger applications. I don't know if I would use StyleX in any of my small and medium-sized projects, but I can definitely see how a big company that has a design system would use StyleX over Tailwind CSS. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Your subscription means a lot to me. It motivates me in creating quality content every week. So please don't forget to hit that button. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on StyleX and if you see yourself using it or not. And before I go, I wanted to share with you that registrations are now open for our 10-week study. It is a program where instead of studying alone and giving up in the middle, we have daily code challenges and quizzes to practice what we learn. And we do it all together. We have a Discord server, weekly online calls, and we also meet offline to play some games and have pizza and beer. Right now, registration is open for the 10-week web study that is for absolute beginners where we learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js, and MongoDB. Click the link below to learn more details about it. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.